you want me to screenshot this? You know it's recording, right? No, I don't, Max. You never fucking tell me. This <laughs> fucking... So oh. we're just we're just gonna look at it. I'm showing people. You know, like we have merchandise. You want some? <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody. How's everybody doing? My name is Matt. I'm Chris. And this is the Beast Mode Podcast. That's right. Holla. The video edition, baby. Video. Don't we look everything like you imagined? No. We don't. I can actually see their disappointment right I now. I know. Well, we're not 300 pounds, fat, greasy slobs behind a microphone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What we're planning on doing today is <clears throat> we're going to run through the walking nude Walking Dead episode as mm-hmm. quickly as possible. You ready for this? Why so fast? I don't know. Is this timed? I don't know. I'm just saying. We got quickly. Hurry. Yeah. Everyone Little pay right attention because we're going to talk as fast as we can. All right. Here we go. First most important part of the show, Daryl Rocket Power. Mm-hmm. First four the minutes. best part of the show. You think so? Absolutely. It was, it was interesting. Uh, it was everything I was, I think we were both hoping that would yes. happen, happened. 100%. Um, to watch Daryl go into uh, beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck are you, asshole. <laughs> Shoot you with a rocket in your fucking eyeball. Dude, don't block our shirt. Uh, uh, the merch. Watch him uh, light up some of Negan's uh, saviors and, uh, you know, start to show off with a bang. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of flank stink. <laughs> There's a lot of shit talking yeah. going down with the uh, with the chew, chew, swallow, swallow, eat, repeat, some shit, eat, swallow, repeat. That was about shit, wasn't it? He was talking about eating shit. And yeah. How fast you should do it. Yeah, know, exactly. So you don't think about it. And then Abraham had a little bit of nibble on that. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. On to the next one. Next one. Rick's plan and Super Sam. Basically, this scene was kind of important and significant because Rick was explaining as they were walking through the horde of zombies what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I think Rick's plan was to go back to the quarry and get the cars Mm -hmm. and basically just drive around the entire complex, beeping their horns so that they could pull away, distract the zombies, and then go out. Correct. Sam pulled a change up as he normally was a coward and scared. And he manned up. I don't think he's a little Superman kid. cape on. I don't think you call Sam a coward. He's like a ten year old kid. Oh, right, wrong choice of words. I mean, come on, don't shoot the kid down. He was a sheltered child who never saw the outside world. You literally beat the kid up the last time. Carol planted a nice seed in his head, though. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There's, All right. there's a card for that. Matt says no, not yet. Next one, Chris's favorite, the wolf that got away, and. Uh, hashtag Morgan. He needs to die. Look what does at it the, say? Look, I, oh, look at the flowers. Yes. Yeah. He needs to have Carol tell look him. Flower. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty... I like that. Um, so we have the wolf with Denise, um, the nurse. Yes. And uh, I really think she... I really think in that situation, she played more of a mind game on him than he did on her. Mm-hmm. It, you know, he was trying to tell her how much he needed her and blah, 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 and this and that. And at the same time, I think she baited him into running. She played him big time. Yeah, she did. Because you could tell as, as they took off and <clears throat> went through the crowd of zombies, she purposely, I believe, lagged behind. So that way, he would have to come and save her when she got attacked. And um, I didn't believe that at first, but after seeing it the second time, yeah, she definitely And then, him. obviously, that opened up the window for Carol to be sitting up on the porch and put a couple in him. And uh, she got her wish. She got her, she got her wish and... Denise is now available to save someone later on in the episode. Yay! Yep. All right. That's right. On to the next one. Always. Roll it. Enid's revelation and Glenn motivates no one. Know what I have to say about this? Huh? 
the Anderson's Buffet. Oh, move my finger. And Carl's <laughs> a pirate. Is that Carl is a pirate? <laughs> this? This is Carl? That's the eye patch. You could at least wrote R. Arg. Look, he's sad. Shiver me timbers. He's, he's sad because his <laughs> eyes. Okay. Ah, my eye, you asshole. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on these. I can tell. That that is quality. It's not that, the handwriting. All right, the handwriting, but the picture. You're right. That is picture perfect stick figure pirate. I give it a. Why do you hurt my feelings? No, hold on, hold on. I can't see this going anywhere good. I give it a ten. Or if you're viewing it like I am right now, a one. It looks. Cool. But it's gonna flip. <laughs> it's gonna. Things reverse. It's gonna flip. You're yeah, gonna have okay. no idea what we see right now. It's a ten. <laughs> All right. Yep. The buffet. Yeah, that was a great scene. Something I believe we've all been waiting for. Uh, definitely been waiting for Sam to die. It's just a matter of time before that kid kicked the bucket some yeah. one way or another. Mm-hmm. Um, Carol, like I spoke earlier, planted that seed in his head about being out in that world and how they'll basically just rip you to shreds. Yeah. You know, those zombies, like, you know, those monsters out there, however you want to view them. Uh, no matter how much your mom tells you to be a brave kid, mm-hmm. um, bravery is not going to go that far. Nope. He ended up seeing another child as a zombie, and it was, it was, was disturbing. He was done. Disturbing. Um, so the next thing you know, he gets eaten. Uh, Jesse decides to hold on to his hand. Carl tries to pull pull her away. Yeah. And the next thing you know, she gets eaten, and she drops a weapon. A pistol. Next thing you know, who's got it? Oh, that's how he got the gun. Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Port, Porch Dick, Porch Dick's son, Ron. I still don't know where this Porch Dick thing came from. It's from an episode, bro. God, you need to rewatch a lot of shows. But it's Porch Dick, who came up with that? Porch. I don't. It was in the show. Porch Dick. They, they called him, him a Porch Dick in the show. It's weird. It's all over Twitter. Hey, I'm... back me up, people. Anyway, that's like the kid on Hey Arnold, Stoop Kid. Stoop Kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> porch, dick. porch Dick. So, Ron uh, now has a gun. He points it at. Somebody's being unprofessional and not silencing their phone while we're having our show. Keep talking. I'm, I, I plan on it. Uh, I'm keeping Beast or Beast Mode shirt in the background. Uh, okay, we're good. So. So, uh, you made me lose my train of thought. Now I really... Porch dick. Thank you. Way to bring it back. Um, so, he he picks up a gun, has it pointed at Carl and Rick. Uh, thankfully, Michonne is there. Rick's real love interest. I can't see this. It, I can't she see this. She knows what she wants. It all goes back to that, that conversation that she had with... Um, 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 oh, she died. Um, the older woman who died in the season finale. I knew we were going to do this. Yep. Uh, you, everyone knows who we're talking about. Deanna? Deanna, thank you. Is that it? Yeah, Deanna. Michonne recognized during that conversation with Deanna that she knows what she wants. And everyone is going to slowly see that that is Rick and Carl. Mm-hmm. That's her family, man. That's, that's, that's who's been there. That's who brought her in. That's her family. That's going to turn into a love relationship. We'll see. But Carl... Yeah. Um. But Carl gets shot in the face. Like, in his eye. It's... His eye. Coral. Coral. Carl's <laughs> eye is no longer... Coral. I got you with one of them eye pads, <laughs> Coral. <laughs> um, that meme is all over Twitter. It's amazing. Love it. Um... So yeah, now Carl, that 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 character line as far as the comic books and the show now are aligning, and we're gonna see Carl without uh, an eye, an eye, um, and uh, that'll be fun because, like you said, you know, it's nice to see some storylines from the comics cross over into the show, and um, pirate, <laughs> pirate Carl. Um, Moving on. I don't know. Is that all we had for that? That was a, that was the longest one. I like the golf clap. Golf clap. Oh, you can see the golf clap. Yeah, I love this. All right, next one. So we have the rescue of Maggie, and in the rescue of Maggie, 
uh, with Enid and Glenn, we have Sasha Ham to the rescue. We need to get a blackboard. I think that would be a lot easier. I'll just take one from work. What? Oh, excuse me, Alan Iverson. Um, so uh, we have the rescue attempt for Maggie. Mm -hmm. um, Enid and Glenn go in to get her off the platform. It's Enid very poorly planned out. Yeah, it was kind of just like a bum rush yeah. kind of thing. Like, let's just get in there and get her out. Glenn, he just I think he just didn't care if he died. He just wanted to save his boo. Yeah. I mean, I went through mixed emotions watching that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Part of it was... Uh -oh. And the other part was... It was, it was definitely... Uh -oh. When Glenn was about to die. Because mm -hmm. Glenn almost died again. Yeah. And everybody's, again. everybody's hearts are probably in their throat mm -hmm. because Maggie's screaming her bloody brains out. I thought he had a plan, but he didn't know what he was no, doing. No, it was just, let me just go out there with one gun. Uh, I'll shoot and punch. It was like a six shooter. It was like, shoot, punch, shoot, punch, shoot, shoot, punch. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> empty. But anyway, then you have uh, who comes to the rescue, but Sasha and uh, Abraham. And, you know, they're, they're just up there on top of the platform. Just like that. And he's alive. Yeah. And Abraham's like, hey, can you get the gate? <laughs> Much appreciated. Like a boss. Like a boss. Gives Love a little it. chuckle like, ha ha, what's this? <laughs> crazy this crazy is bastards. everyday shit for me. <laughs> so um, Maggie is, is saved mm -hmm. um, that we know of. Yeah, she was pretty saved. Yeah. And uh, Glenn's alive again. Double call. They didn't leave us hanging with a friggin' dumpster. It's true. It's true. Which I called it and it was alive the whole time. <sighs> On to the next one. Yep. Rick Rampage unites Team Grinds all day. Right. Yep. So this was uh, one of the most epic slaughter scenes I've ever seen. Um, obviously, this is after Carl gets shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's brought in to be seen by the good nurse slash doctor. Mm -hmm. um, Michonne stays to help out, you know, with the, with the situation. And Rick decides he's going to take uh, the hatchet, which you pointed out uh, is a hatchet that he's had on him for a while. He yep. used the same one. When he uh, had the meltdown. Had the meltdown the with meltdown. Lori at the prison. Um, and he took that hatchet and he did some work. So he decides to take out that um, anger because it, it, with Rick, it's, def, it's definitely anger. Yeah. It's anger-based. The fact that someone got hurt, it's his son. It's his son again who yeah. gets shot. Yeah, Carl. What? Eating bullets like what? Carl. <laughs> Eating bullets like Pac-Man. He's, <laughs> yeah. He's just chewing him down. Um, this one, he got a facial. So, yeah. I mean, you know, took a load to the face. Took a hot round to yeah. the face. I can't think of one. Damn it. No? Nothing? Oh, I have the question of the week. Okay, well, hold on to that. They have... oh. No, we got to do that at the end. We're talking about Team okay. Grimes right now. Right, okay. Stay focused, man. I can't help. I know, we get sidetracked. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, Rick starts uh, going at it. Um, Sean is begging to uh, be released because she's on Carl, you know, helping out with Carl. Mm -hmm. And uh, Den Diane, Di Denise, Denise is... Um, you know, telling her, I just need a few more seconds, you know, whatever. Finally, she can cut loose. She goes outside and starts murking zombies with, with Rick. <laughs> yep. Um, Eugene. Eugene, Rosita, mm -hmm. Tara. I, just people, like, watching in the houses decide to go outside with and start just taking on, you know, you got Heath, you have mm -hmm. um, Spencer, you have everybody out there. I just climb through the TV. I would have been there. Yeah. 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 I actually broke a bottle over the table been... and I wanted to. Right. Yeah. I would have just like I remembered it wasn't real. Rock bottomed a few, <laughs> and then did the RKO. Could on you it. rock bottom with zombie? Right? Hell yeah! But it would bite your shoulder. No, how? You got them here. No, that's that's a choke slam. Oh, cho well, yeah, but I get no. Choke, but, we'll go with choke well, slam. Well, yeah, but you can rock bottom. I mean, you just, you gotta kick him in the gut, and you'd be like, ah! people's elbow. Yeah, and then do a little <laughs> RKO. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner. Yeah, something. Okay. Um. So now you basically have uh, everybody taking on this whole village full of zombies. Um, and it segues, you know, you go into where um, 
Daryl decided to have the barbecue. Like, you know, as they're, as they're pretty much making their way through all the zombies and they're pushing their way through, mm-hmm. Daryl, that's when Daryl has the idea to light the fuel up and help draw. Basically, what he was trying to do is take those the focus of the zombies away from them. Because they were, I mean, let's face it, as many as there were killing, they were starting to really, really pack up on yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So, the fact that he was able to light that fire, had the sound and the noise of the boom and everything, draw them to the Did water. Did you notice they were backed up to the wall? Almost, yeah, they were, they were there. They were there. They were really uh, turning. They're going to have no place to go shortly. Mm-hmm. So that was a good split scene there that they went back and forth, um, and it worked out. You know, uh, it helped out, you know, the, the group that was that was uh, taking on the... Team Grimes. Team Grimes, yeah. So that was, that was just... All in all, this episode, by far my number one. This is going to be the shade. It's not an earthquake. Oh. I just realized that myself. Stop touching the table. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> sorry. Yep. This one might be my personal favorite. I thought you already had a personal favorite. No. The title. Oh, it. the title. Yeah. We yeah. a lot of thought into these, believe it or not. Uh, Daryl's Backyard Barbecue, B-Y-O-Z, because don't be selfish and take someone else's zombies. Yep. Uh, kill your own. There it is. High five on video. Yeah. You always heard it. Yep. Now you saw it. Now you saw it. That's right. This thing is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Daryl comes through again. Yeah. Twice in one episode, he is a boss. Mm-hmm. Just just said, hey, you know what? Got a that tanker. rocket launcher. Yeah. Is that how we lit the fire? Yeah. So I'm kind of worried, though, because they used two. One was really good. The other one, I think, could have been lit a different way. The fire could have been lit a different way. But, I mean, hey. I think he earned himself the right to light a cigarette with the rocket launcher right right saving everybody twice i think you're in that right cigar like a like a Mm -hmm. you know yeah like i get a metal cigar like a giant cuban just yeah i was looking for a prop but i don't have one no we're low on props today we do have chocolate covered oreos that i got for my valentine's inside my I'm my not, Sherry's Berries package that they that they messed up that tw- delivery uh, not once but twice. The key ingredient to this group, it's Vanessa. Yes, uh, and she's thanks. Not here. Thanks, thanks for the lot, Vanessa. chocolate covered Oreos. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, he he basically dumps a bunch of fuel out of that tanker, lights it on fire, and uh, they have a, a giant zombie queue. Now we had an interesting debate about this last night when we tried to record this. For the first time, yeah, and it didn't work. Nope. Was that gas or was that some type of? I was saying that it was some type of oil-based I, diesel if, kerosene. If you go like that. based off the truck, it looked like a delivery truck to me. Right. Now, usually a fuel tanker is much bigger. Mm-hmm. They, it's those giant, you know, eighteen-wheelers. That's what she said. What? Don't do I that. Felt it. That's not. I thought I felt it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry. Anyways, sorry, sorry women, uh, for my partner's inappropriate comment. It's Anyways. his first time on video. What can I say? <laughs> You've been on video before. Yeah. What? When? I don't know. Is there a video there? Football. It doesn't count. Sure, it does. Okay. It's video. All right. So we thought that it was some type of oil. Yeah. Based I, or... Something. Uh, uh, I'm thinking it wasn't gas. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a... my whole thing was they were walking through. They were lighting on fire, but at the same time they were walking into water. Mm-hmm. So we were trying to figure out the fire was burning on top of the water. As the zombies lit on fire, wouldn't the water put the fire out? Some fire can burn underwater. If it's a, some type of, it's got to be like a really, I think a really hot or like really high uh, octane kind okay. of fuel. Um, but I think if it's day. oil based or something, it'll burn longer in water or something okay. like that. Just some quick research. If somebody um, knows something, yeah, send, send it our way. We'd be, we, you know, just just so we know. Yeah. Um. So, you know, we so yeah, there was that debate on you know even though he lit it on fire and the zombies are on fire, wouldn't the water put it out? And you know maybe they burnt enough to where they couldn't walk. I guess uh, you know. Hmm. As much or as fast or slowed them down to where you could kill them. Mm-hmm. We're we're kind of stuck in that whole area, you know. Well, you know, maybe pay more attention. We could pay more attention by rewatching it and hash that out. Yeah. 
All right. Um, good idea, though. All in all, quick Adele? thinking. Yeah, yeah, quick thinking. She's always clutch. Yeah, quick thinking. I like it. Until he dies. Wow. What? He may die. Do you know something I don't know? I don't smell it yet. <laughs> gonna sip my water let's do that i didn't really have i don't use their products i'm just saying i'm just drinking out of the cup i don't use their products what was it again what what was it what was it oh twin lab so you don't use it that was a free shaker cup can't oh so you're like d no what i'm saying is i took a drink out of it and i realized that it said twin lab here so i don't want I'm not trying to do any kind of marketing. I don't take... So you're demarketing? Yeah. I don't take their products. I think they're shit. Can we get sued for that? Uh, I love oh, Twin Lab. We're not... They're amazing. We're, not, we're, use, we're not not using? We're not using. I have never had the benefit... We're not promoting. ...of here. using Twin Lab. I got the cup for free at a show. It was stuffed with supplements. Well, that was nice of Twin Lab. Thank you, Twin Lab. It holds my water perfectly. Mm -hmm. Rick had a dream. He had a dream. He did. For the second time. He had an epiphany. A dream. Yes. A. 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 Hope. Yes. That's what I would call it. It's a hope. Uh, I say a dream because I think it's a Not going to come true. Yeah. 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 Don't think it's. Um, he has his moment with Carl when he's on the bed. He's telling him, you know, I want to be able to give you this. I want to be give you that. And I want you to have this. I want you to have that. It's a zombie apocalypse, Rick. Yeah, you took Alexandria. Yeah, it's yours now. Uh, Time to get the group moving. You're never going to be able to stay there. It's It's the theme of, you know, The Walking Dead. You're always moving. They show them in a a um, trailer for next week. Mm -hmm. Him and Daryl are in a car. They're driving around. They encounter something or someone or people because you see them draw their weapons. Listen, you're not going to be safe there. It's just, you know, the wolves found you. They attacked you. You're not going to be safe there. Unfortunately, it's the world they live in. Mm -hmm. You can't just stay in one place. Yeah, we've said that multiple you can times. build walls. You can do all that stuff. You mm -hmm. could, shit, they could build another set of three they could they could build three sets of interior walls mm -hmm. and make it like a maze to finally get into the village mm -hmm. something i would do but do you think you'd ever have the time to do that no because i mean look what happened after they got attacked with the tractor trailer they never had a chance to fortify that they never had a chance to fortify the house they houses they lived in and you all saw that fall to shit you know what I mean? Like the zombies broke in because they never got a chance to fix the repair. They never got a chance to do repairs. Mm -hmm. They never had a chance to fortify the houses. It's true. I don't know why they never did that. They just, dude, they didn't have time. There was just something. Glenn's missing. This is going on. That's happening. We're waiting for them to come back. Abraham, Daryl, and Sasha aren't there. You know, like there's so many, you know, you, there's just either, either there's not enough manpower. Mm -hmm. And if there is enough manpower, you know, I didn't even really like the whole "we're gonna have an armory" like idea, right? Because it put everything in one spot, and it yeah. turned out to in the, when the wolves came, mm -hmm. it turned to this tense moment where everybody's charging the armory, right? Like whoever gets there first is pretty much gonna own the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would opt out on making an armory, but I probably would too. And what I what I what I would do from my own personal standpoint is have safe houses mm -hmm. you know everybody everybody let's say lives in their own house but designate let's say three i don't know how many houses but if you have let's say three extra houses mm -hmm. those three houses in probably like a triangle like a triangle formation where you know you would have the, they would be fortified mm -hmm. those three houses are located in between everyone else's living quarters. Mm -hmm. So that way when, when, when shit hits the fan, people have the closest house to them to go to. Okay. Those houses are fortified and they're stocked. So you don't have just one armory. Those three houses are armed and fortified. 
and the other like your other houses now become decoy houses that makes sense you know like yeah. that's just me with kind of like my background and, and like everything like i've learned that's what i would that's what i would do they could do it like the home alone house remember <laughs> they had the pulley system yeah, yeah, yeah. right and all the shadows were going across yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You get a couple of man. You get a couple of mannequins. You go raid a store. Mm -hmm. You get mannequins, and you know you pop them up in the in the, in the windows of the houses. You know, that's a fantastic idea. And, and that's just you know like, but when is there time for that? You know, Never. that's the thing. So I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess that could kind of be uh, our scenario. Is if you're in this situation and you and you let's say scenario is you now have downtime you have time to uh fortify mm -hmm. what's your what's your what's your idea do you you know keep the armory in the central spot do you pick a few houses out of your compound to fortify and to into arm mm -hmm. and have them located you know throughout the area so that it's like safe zones for different people and all that stuff and to me like that just seems like what i would want to do yeah you know i'm gonna have to wait because i gotta i gotta put some thought behind this i didn't even think about this yeah i think the weakest part though like their achilles heel would be the sewers i feel like that's well yeah the and part that can be but i mean the zombies are in there that's kind of like their own defense yeah but it, it, not they weren't in great numbers to the point where it was mm -hmm. Like, nobody can get in. Like, if, if there was a group of people, they can easily get in. Even if they, like, it, you know, yeah. they go up there and they may have it booby-trapped or something. But I feel like there's a way that they could, even if they blew up the sewers and not, you don't know where it is, you can collapse houses and stuff like that. Right. And I'm thinking completely crazy right now. No, but, it's, I mean, you're right. If people could make their way through keep those. Vibrating. Oh, this is so bad. If people could make. Keep, the... keep vibrating this thing. If people could make their way through the sewers, but then, it, like, put a trip wire. Yeah. You know? Uh, like inhabit uh wire to to blow up I guess maybe the 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 gate yep or you could kind of use a governor theme where you could take um uh, uh, I guess a, a man-made like let's say cell mm -hmm. prison block kind of thing mm -hmm. and you could have like you just stockpile with zombies and have them ready to go mm -hmm. you know you just Basically, all you have to do is just pull a lever, and people who are trying to come out of those sewers, as they're coming out of those sewers, they're faced with a horde of zombies. Right. You know what I mean? Kind of slow them down. Maybe not kill them at all, but slow them down mm -hmm. or whatever. Booby trap them. You just, you know, you'd have to booby trap that that area. Yeah. The sewers, basically. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. But yeah, I mean, you know, let us know. Question is, what do you think? Mm hmm. And uh, like usual, Hit us up on Twitter, which seems yep. to be the best way for everybody to, to get a hold of us. We do have a Facebook um, website, still a work in progress. Facebook. You know, I like Facebook. Every time this is, you look at me with the website what? thing. What? I'm so disappointed. <sighs> you know what it is. You know what time it is. What time? It's is a it? good time to learn. <laughs> it always gets thrown on me. Anybody want to do a web page for us? You can let us do know. On Are they answering? Twitter. I don't know if they're answering. They're like, yeah. 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 Yay. <laughs> um, if any of you are interested in Beast Mode merchandise, let us know. Hit us up. We got t-shirts and we can do magnets hats. and all sorts of stuff. Hats. You let us know. We do any kind of colors. This is just our black and red that we use for when we do our zombie runs, which we, you know, we, you know, we do, uh, they're basically called fun runs or zombie runs, zombie five Ks, mm -hmm. um, you know, stuff Amazing like that. Amazing time, by the way. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm a big fan. What's well, the first one in the books? Yeah. Hope you like the video. Uh, hope you like what we did here. We're gonna try to keep uh, keeping it interesting. Once again, we're gonna try to get better at this. Yeah. I think we did a great job. Besides the occasional. <laughs> See that? I like it. Right, it lets them feel like they're in a room with us. They're like, oh! <laughs> or there's an earthquake. Yeah, or they're like this, watching. <laughs> <laughs> stop! The brother, like, stop shaking the table! <laughs> Alright, everybody. For peace mode to you. Deuces! Peace out, everybody. Peace! peace. peace.